Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lore. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to properly find and download mods, how to install them in the game, and how to modify those mods to do what you want them to do. Now, there are two things I recommend having before you really get into this. One is called WinRAR. This is just a program that will help you compress or decompress compressed folders or files any mod you download for this game is going to come compressed by default and this will make it super easy and we will be using this in today's video now you can find links to everything you see in this video down below in the description the second thing i recommend is called notepad plus plus windows comes by default with notepad notepad plus plus will make it so much easier for you to actually modify and configure these files for this for these mods and both of these programs are totally free to download so once you guys have those Let's go back to the actual mods themselves. Now there are two sites that I really use a lot for these mods. I think are probably the best two sites out there currently anyway. Uh, by far the most pop popular one would be this Nexus Mods. There is a ton of mods on here which we will go over in a second. The second one is this ModDB.com. Um, they have some very, in my opinion, unique up and coming mods coming to the game. Like this one for example, Mountain Warcraft. It's a total conversion mod for Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lore that literally turns the game into World of Warcraft. I think it's going to be really cool and there's some pretty big projects coming through this website. And again, you guys can find links to both these sites down below in the description. So this is like the homepage for the mods for Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lore. This is the link I'll have down in the description for you guys. I'll take you right to what you're seeing right now. If we come down a little bit, we have more mods, uh, new today, new this week, popular, popular of all time, more trending, random, so on and so forth. Just choose the category you want. I'm just going to go with popular for 30 days because by then most of the mods, their bugs are kind of worked out a little bit. And most of these mods actually make some pretty big changes to the game to help you. So we will just, for this example, let's do the global experience multiplier. I think this is a very good mod to show you guys how to configure mods for this game. So once I click on it here, I can come down and you can read all this. I recommend reading all this for any mod you're going to use because the developer of the mod will leave stuff here that's important, like here's where to put it, here's how to use it, so on and so forth. Sometimes there'll be readme files as well uh, once you go to decompress the folder. But we're going to go to files. And you're going to have two options here. You can use the mod manager download. Um, I don't use this because it's... To my knowledge anyway, it's another thing you have to have download on your computer. I just prefer doing the manual download. You can go the shroud if you want, but I'm just going to do the manual download for this video. So once I click that, I'm just going to click on the slow download. And we're just going to wait a second and we'll start downloading the compressed folder for us. And there it is right there. So what I'm going to do is to show you guys, I'm going to actually put this on my desktop. I'm going to minimize this. So this is what WinRAR does for us. So if I open this up right now, this is our folder right here. Now what you can do is you can just right click on this folder with the two dots. You can go extract to a specified folder and you can just put wherever you want and go from there. I'm going to show you guys a way easier way of doing this though. So once you have this open, what you're going to do is come down here to your file explorer. We're going to open it up and I have my Mountain Blade 2 directory path right here under quick access already, which I'll show you guys how to do this as well. It makes it super easy again to where you have to put these mods and where you have to edit them. But I will show you guys the default path for uh, Steam for the directory. I don't have mine as a default path, but normally you'll go under the C drive you go to Program Files 86 and come all the way down to Steam and we're going to look for Steam Apps and you're going to go to Common. And Now once you're at Common, this will show all the games you have uh, currently downloaded on your device. Now I have all my Steam games saved on a different hard drive, so all mine are under this E drive. More than likely you're not going to have this type of setup. You'll have the where I showed by default, but it's the same exact thing. So here we, here we are again at Steam Apps, Common. Now here's all my games. You'll see Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lore. We're going to open this up. And now we're in the files for the game. And what you're going to do, every single mod will go under Modules right here. So we're going to click on Modules. And all I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to put this up a little bit. I'm going to click and hold on this to drag it. And I'm going to drop it in here. And there we go. We just installed our first mod into the game. It's really that simple. So now I can just close this because we don't need it anymore. So now that we have a mod in our game, we're going to want to modify it because by default, this will be set prior to vanilla for the XP multiplier. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up this folder. We're going to go to bin. 
Windows 64 shipping client and right here this XML document this is what we're gonna be modifying so if I right click this if I right click it I have this option to edit with notepad plus plus you should have this by default if you download notepad plus plus if you do not you can go to open with choose any other app and from here go to more apps and notepad plus plus will show up down here I just click on it and press OK and it will open for you and this is how it looks in notepad plus plus now I want to show you guys what this looks like in just normal notepad so you can see the difference and this is what it looks like in normal notepad and honestly I think it makes it a lot harder to read and it's mainly because there's no color to it so I'm just gonna close this minimize this and this is where we're at so now guys we're gonna be editing the config file for the XP multiplier now if you've never done this before I understand this this might be a little overwhelming but I'm gonna kind of break it down for you so kind of step back a little bit and read some of this stuff you're gonna realize this really isn't that hard to do so like this very first one right here uh, the green text explains everything to us this is the only value you need to change if you like the old version so like this multiplier is one right now so if I set this to 10 this affects the amount of XP per action by globally modifying it. it affects everything else use either this or learning rate multiplier for global experience rate changes so with me saying this to 10, anything I do in the and get XP in the game, it's going to multiply it by 10. Now the next one is the skill group multipliers. Multiplier for all skills under the respective category. Stacks with individual multipliers as well, which is pretty cool, which is the next one. These are all individual. So if I put one-handed at 10 and I do the one-handed category at 10, my one-handed will actually get times 20 XP and my two-handed will only get times 10 because it falls under the respective category, but I left the two hand at one instead of changing it to ten if that makes sense and then we have some other option he options here like this one specified hero checks and multipliers if you change this to true it only applies XP boost to the main hero nobody else like companions so these multiplier rates will affect companions uh, XP rates as well and at the very bottom here this one can be kind of important too we have the learning rate multiplier and the learning limit multiplier so the rate affects learning rate visible under progression another way to do another XP multiplier uh, the second one changes to whatever multiplier you want one XP multiplier and two equals two so if you want to you know raise your learning rate and stuff like that you can change these numbers and play with it and get it to a spot where you like it now for this video I am just going to make it very simple I'm just going to do 10 across the board. Actually, you know what? We're, we'll, we will do 50, actually. So we're, we're going to do times 50 across the board for everything. I'm not going to change anything else. So once we do this, guys, all we're going to do now is go to File and just, and just press Save. And then we're done. That's it. We can now close this. Now, guys, once we are done, before we close everything and launch the game, I recommend recommend clicking back on your Mountain Blade banner lore. We're going to Common, actually. I'm sorry. Back under Steam Apps under Common. If you right-click the game folder and go to Pin to Quick Access... You will have it up here for next time, so you don't have to go find your directory every time. It'll just be right there at the very top every every single time you click on this. You don't have to do that. It's a preference of mine because it makes it quicker if I want to go back and edit my, you know, config file again. So if I have something happen, I didn't like it. So I have shown you guys where to get mods, how to download them properly, how to properly install them, and edit the config files for the mods. Now it's time to launch the game and test it. So I'm going to go here to my Steam. I'm going to go to play. We're going to have this launch. Give it one second here. I'm going to go to single player, go to mods. Any mod you put in that modules folder is going to show up down here. So like this is this is one of ours right here, the experience multiplier. If you're wondering if it's a mod, this icon will tell you it's a third party mod or application. So once we have this box filled in, I'm just going to click on play. So here we are at the main menu. You can do two things here. If you're starting a brand new playthrough, this mod will take effect. If you have saved games and you're going to just be playing a previous one, you can choose any of your saves and press load and it's gonna come with a box that says are you sure you want to load with mismatch modules you just press yes and it will add the XP multiplier any mod you're using to that current save and you can, you can just keep doing what you were doing beforehand but since I don't have any saves we're gonna go to campaign here to make a new character very quickly okay guys so here we are so we have our XP multiplier put in Everything is times 50, and just to show you guys this works, I should start getting XP the minute I start moving here. So we'll go over here and buy some troops. Let's go to recruit troops. We're going to buy these guys. We do have right now one point to spend. I'm going to put it in riding. And let's go buy some troops down here and find some people to fight. 
My riding just went up to seven. Bought some more recruits. Okay, so let's find some looters to fight so we can get up our combat skills. That would be very nice. There's some looters right there, actually. We can fight those guys. There's 25 of them. Oh, we're getting some help from another group. I didn't even realize. <laughs> okay, that works, I guess. Hopefully we can get some uh, hits with some of our combat weapons here. So we can get some XP in them. So my bow just went to 32 after one shot. Ow. Or to 51. I'm sorry, 48. Get some sword hits. I'm on a really bad horse. Our one hand is now 37. I think we just won that one because we kind of got some help from this other group on accident. That's okay though. But I, I just kind of wanted to show you guys that how easy this is. So as you can see, my bow's now 48. And I got only a few hits with it. So obviously the times 50 XP multiplier is working out pretty well. Our one hand soars up to 37. We got four more skill points to use. And that's basically it, guys. That's how it works. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section. Some mods might be a tad different when it comes to how to edit them. But most of the mods I've seen, especially under like most popular, the people behind those mods have a lot of pride. And they put a lot of hard work into these mods for us to use for free. Um, and they will normally have an explanation on how to do this or how to do that. Sometimes when you go and you download it and you open it at WinRAR, there'll be a README file in the folder. You can open that README file and it'll tell you exactly how to do things. But for the most part, what I showed you today is generally how you will do anything with any mod for this game. So if you guys found this video helpful, just let me know down below in the comment section, please. Your support means everything to me. I do have plans to drop a essential mod video for a single player here in just a few hours for you guys. Um, and they're just mods that in my opinion I think make the overall game better and make the gameplay different if you've already played a bunch of playthroughs as well. So thank you guys for watching. I will see all of you in the next video.